Hey guys, uh, Sam Mac here. So today I've got something pretty cool. Uh, I got into the alpha for a game called Pocket City, and uh, as far as I know, this is like the first 24 hours that the alpha has been out. Um, I'm not sure if there was a more private one before this, but uh, this game is a uh, city builder like SimCity, it's offline. Um, it's going to be like no in-app purchases and everything and there's there's quite a lot bit of hype around it like um, If we check out here, they've got uh, they've got a subreddit going and they already have uh, like 1300 more than 1300 uh, subs on their subreddit and uh, The game just came to an alpha today, so I know around like Android gaming and a few of the other subs they we've been or there's been a lot of discussion around this game. There's a lot of there's a lot of people looking forward to it, so uh, let's check it out. Um, I, this is the first time watching the game, and uh, should be interesting. We're gonna play it for a little bit and check it out. Uh, I don't know. So let's see what we got here. So uh, yeah, this is this is alpha. It just says uh, there's everything is about to change maybe, and uh, things are still in development. But uh, it says the core gameplay mechanics should be there. So. Um, should be able to check it out and have some fun. So, um, you can either start story or sandbox mode. Let's do story, I guess. Assuming, a lot of times, like, story might not be fully fleshed out in anything, but, uh, Hello. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right, so we got Anna here. The art looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna tear it down a little bit. Um, there we go. All right, uh, so we're the new mayor, and gonna help grow the small town. Cool. All right. So yeah, I'm expecting this to be quite a bit like SimCity or any other like city skylines. Um, all right. And I wonder how. What if I should use my mouse or actually on the gamepad? Seems seems fine to use the mouse. We'll we'll, we'll just start out with that. Um, so, so far we land Town Hall, and uh, we're going to build a road to start, cool. So yeah, so far everything seems really good, everything's really smooth. Um, Alright, let's build a residential zone. Okay, it seems like it's very much like... Uh, SimCity 2000, I guess. I've, to be honest, I haven't played a lot of the SimCities, but we kind of you put zoning in, and then it kind of builds its own shapes of buildings and everything. It fills it in itself. Um, all right, we need jobs. We're gonna put in some industrial, and it looks like the tutorial is telling us to put it for further away from uh, residential, which. It's pretty common in these types of games. You want to keep industrial away from residential. Usually, there's pollution and stuff. Um, yeah, there we go. Talking about it. You can smell the factories already. Um, need some cash. Let's put in some commercial zones, and probably it's going to be right in between the two. Yeah. And we got some. We got some experience. When I, I just noticed, uh, we probably did from the other ones as well. So, looks like your city can level up, and that's probably how you unlock more buildings and uh, kind of more complex zoning and structures, I assume. Um, local business will increase our income through taxes, yeah. Um, and now we need to get power and water to the buildings. You can see the power and then the power exclamation and water exclamation on all the buildings. So um, a power plant will power all nearby buildings along our road. Okay, so sounds like we won't have to do power lines and stuff which is nice because sometimes uh, sometimes those details can be fun but sometimes it's a little overwhelming especially for uh, a mobile game okay it looks like you can zoom in zoom out a little bit too um, and again same thing with uh, same thing with water so we're gonna switch over to the water tab down here and uh, yeah everything seems really nicely laid out uh, and pump a distance of 30. So I wonder if that's 30 squares. I assume so. And 
again, looks like if we pinch the zoom, you can see there's some like land you can buy nearby. So, um, looks like you start with a square and then you can slowly buy more squares of land to, uh, to get more room to grow your city. Uh, you unlock new buildings when your city levels up. Okay, that's what we figured. And uh, get XP by building zones, completing quests. Okay, cool. Have we seen a quest yet? Okay, here we're getting our first quest now. Alright, um, the first homes. Okay, eight residential zones. Cool. Okay, so we have four already from what we already built. So we just need to build four more. So let's build those right alongside the other side of the road here. Seems like the most efficient way to do it. Yeah, I'm curious. We haven't seen it yet, but like, I wonder if these zones have to be directly along a road. Um, or I wonder if they can be built kind of... Like, if I put a 4x4 four four box here, I wonder if they would have power and water and stuff. Probably not, I'm guessing. All right, sweet, so we finished the quest. We got 1,000 XP, which levels us up. And we can build parks now, cool. And so now if we go to a quest, Hello. quest is to build a new park, makes sense. All right, so let's build a park. Uh, what's it in the services? I think it just told me, and then I... I was not paying attention. Um, Zones? No. We can we can figure this out. Small pack. Under other. Cool. Alright, so let's put just put one right there. Right outside City Hall. And we'll just do quests for now. We'll see what the uh, kinda how the story evolves and test that out in a sense. All right, sweet, so we got a bunch of money from building the quest. So you can get money from quests, you can get XP from quests. Um, and now we want to try to get the 300 citizens, cool. Okay, what are we at right now? We're at 97. All right, so probably need some more roads here. So let's put this out like this, and then we're... Um, Let's try building a zone here and here, and just kind of see what happens to this back one in the corner before we connect it to a road to see if it's fine. Oh, okay, actually, so this one seems like it's gonna be fine because it's a, it's a long, it's a two square house. Um, I wonder if it'll always do that. Oh, we don't have enough cash. All right. Uh, I have to wait for some taxes to come in. And our money's going down. So maybe we build too quickly here. Uh, let's see stats. Our income is minus $4 a second. That's not good. Oh, uh, because we have a large zone upkeep. Um, we got 133 housing. 90% of our. Our citizens have jobs, and we're we're attracting sixteen citizens a second, but we're also losing sixteen citizens a second. That's interesting. And uh, our recreations are lowest, our biggest issue. So, uh, hmm, if we don't have enough, can we build industrial? I'm trying to think what will give us some money. Might have lost already. Like we lost the game. What's an event? Block party. What's the, what is there for disasters? So we can summon a tornado and it gives us a ton of experience. Uh, or we can have a block party, which gives us experience as well. And did it spend the rest of our money or did we have we already lost all our money at that point? I don't know. But uh, this looks fun. Let's zoom right in here. That's pretty good. I, I really like the, uh, like it's pixel art, obviously, but like, this is really cool. This is really elaborate, more elaborate than I thought it might be. Um, okay, we're still losing money. 
we just got some experience, but I don't know if that really helps us. I don't know if that's going to get us out of the money hole here. Uh, there's a big demand for commercial. I think that's our problem right now is we don't have any commercial space, so maybe we focus too much on the quest and not on, uh, not on actually making money. Um, all right, so let's slow and cool down. <laughs> it's about to come off cooldown already, though. And I wonder if we if we level up, do we get money? Let's try uh, let's try another block party. So that should level us up, and we can just see what happens on level up again. I wonder if we can adjust uh, like our taxes or anything. Mm, no, I, I don't think so. Alright, looks like we can, uh, okay, we never have to 15 cities, that's cool, We're in regular and sandbox mode. Um, oh, you can upload your city to the cloud, that's cool. Oh, to, to share it with friends or, uh, or make it available on another device. Or you can uh, download a public city with, from the cloud. So it must give you a little code that you can use to share cities. Uh, I probably won't be sharing this city since it sucks. Uh, but yeah, definitely feel like we ran out of money a little too quickly, so that's a bit of feedback. Let's see, so we leveled up. Did we get any money or anything, did we? No, we didn't get money. All right, I think we're getting screwed here. Uh, we might have to restart. Okay. Oh, I didn't, actually, I didn't mean to manual save. Uh, let's leave that. Let's start here. All right, let's try this again, guys. Okay, cool. So you get uh, you get an option where you want to start on a new on a new city. All right, so let's start. And okay, looks like you have more freedom uh, if you're not doing the tutorial one. So we have the same um, same starting quest to get eight homes. So let's build a road here. And. Let's do it a little bit differently. Let's do longer housing. All right, so that was like almost a tenth of our money already. So let's build a residential like this. So that's 4,000. Ooh, you can really burn through money fast. Um, it feels like you don't start with very much. But maybe I'm just like expecting to build too much too fast. Um, let's see, and by the time we put in water, So that's another thousand. We started with about twelve thousand, and we put in power. It's for another thousand. So we're halfway through our money. We uh, finish our quest. All right, let's put in. Um, Okay, leveled up. All right, so we're, we're losing money right now already. Um, Hello. Definitely build a park, because I think it's basically free because of the reward money you get from the quest. So let's put that in. And then uh, we need to get in, we need to get in some uh, commercial really bad. Ooh, commercials are really expensive. Ooh, okay, we're already really low on money. Let's um, hand in the quest. And we got a new quest already. Okay, that's the population growth one, cool. All right, we, uh, we need to get in some industrial here before we die. So we're gonna put in, not die, but before we run out of money completely. So, hmm. Let's actually, let's put it on the other side of the road. Let's cancel it. Oh. I wonder, I didn't even try last time. Like, I wonder if you demolish stuff if you get money back. Probably not. All right, so we got some industrial going here. Let's put in some more commercial because it sounded like commercial was kind of what you get the most taxes from. 
So try to get at least four commercial in there and uh, let's see how the charts do here. All right, we're making money at least now. So that's a good sign. And uh, looks like commercial still what people are looking for. So let's put in another road and we'll put in uh, we'll put in some more commercial here. The industrial is like a little closer to our housing than I would have wanted, but um, we can't really afford to build our roads very long right now. So, um, okay, okay, we're making money at least. Let's check out the stats. We're making 150 income a second. So, to be honest, I have no idea. I think just our road was too long, and that's like that was basically the starter road that it gave you. So, uh, maybe that's some feedback is. The tutorial's kind of sets you up to fail a little bit. Uh, okay, it looks like we need some more industrial, so we'll throw in some more industrial zones there. And yeah, our quest right now is to get to 300 people, but um, when we tried to just rush that last time, we, we really screwed up. So we're gonna we're just gonna build based on the graph, the demand graph, instead of. Uh, instead of trying to go right for the quest, so. Just slowly build this out. I'm curious to see, like, sometimes, uh, as you, like, as you increase the commercial zone, let's, uh, let's click, what kind of details can we here? So these provide 400 a second. This is a big one. So, so medium is giving us 100 a second. I wonder if uh, those will, like, can this medium uh, absorb, I guess, or combine with the two small ones to make a large one? So we'll have to see. Or do you have to kind of, does it have to be large from the start? And that's how it stays. All right, still, still wants more, uh, wants more commercial. So we're just gonna keep going to the commercial until uh, the graph tells us otherwise. Now, I'm sure there's lots of other stuff we probably need, like, uh, fire and safety yeah okay but you don't unlock those for a while looks like all right so we're good for a little bit we can just focus on building the actual city up and let's try to build a big one here and see if it uh okay it gave us a large one sweet nice we got the movie theater let's throw that in right away that probably attracts a lot of people so uh that's under special i assume recreation and income cool and again, we'll just throw it in right in the middle here. Right by our park. And here's a real question. Should we put a road down the side here? Or, nah, let's, let's just make it a dead end. And uh, we'll figure out something later. To... This might not be the best planning wise. Worst case, we can always expand up to here. and. Okay, we're almost at 300 people, sweet. So we're at 289. And okay, we still need a lot of commercial. So maybe what we'll do is kind of start a secondary commercial zone down here. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna make a three by three grid and see what happens. So these back ones might not have power and water. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, it seems like they do. Okay, I wonder how far they can be from a road before they lose water and power. Yeah, so this commercial large get, gets us tons of money. 312 versus uh, 100 in the medium. So it definitely seems like you want at least two by two blocks wherever you can to get these, these large, uh, large buildings versus the medium. Um, I wonder if there's kind of a way to game that, like, and so these, I think these started this way too, right? Like, um, and we don't have room. Oh, did we hit 300? We got a new quest. Cat limit. Okay, we're, we're maxed out on cash, looks like. Okay, we need to start spending. It's funny that we struggled so much that first game, and now we're already, uh, 
Maxing our cash. Let's throw um let's throw that in and see what happens. I'm I'm still really curious about this power and water thing, like how far away from a road. Okay, so these ones don't have it. So I guess if none of your building touches within two spaces of the road, looks like it might not work. Um So let's go like that, and then we should uh, we should be good. All right, so we got our quest complete. Sweet. Get some money. And they say we should throw a block party. Hello. All right, let's go to 500. Okay, so we, we actually probably should get to 500 pretty quickly here. Let's uh. Let's try to get some some large ones in here. We'll do uh, a two by four block here. We got one large one, sweet. And uh, we don't have a ton of demand right now for anything. Let's, uh, let's throw up some industrial up here as well though. That seems like to be our, our highest demand. And we're flush on cash, so. Yeah, we're making cash like too fast to spend it almost. Let's start getting out, out, out. I didn't mean to do that. Um, start being a little more aggressive with our uh, with our spending, especially because we keep hitting the cap there. Oh yeah, we need to build a bank. I forgot to do that. Hi, What's our next two thousands? Our next uh, population goal. So. Uh, Services, yeah. Here's the bank. So increases max cash by uh, twenty thousand. Oh, but it costs all our money. Interesting. Oh, it's not as big as I was thinking it was. Um, no, I don't think we really want to put it there, do we? If I put it like back here, if I put it in behind a building here, would that power still? Well, I guess that's a quick way to spend some cash if you're at the cap, because... Alright, what do we got now? What's our next, uh... Unlocked... Oh, we got $5,000. Cool. Oh, we loaded up again. We got fire, sa fire department safety. Sweet. So, can fire... Can finally get to... <laughs> it's, looks like there's, uh... They're still working on the fire chief. Um, Franklin, I guess his name is. Oh, you can upgrade. It says you can upgrade um, fire station. So I wonder if there's other buildings you can upgrade, like that bank. Maybe we can upgrade. Oh, uh, can I drag this? Oh, sweet. You can drag them when they're down. That'd be good to know. All right, let's build that. Oh, no. Those fires came really quickly. Uh, yeah, I see that. Okay, so we just lost a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of heads in there, but there wasn't really much we could do about it, so. Oh, uh, cancel. Let's get that, those residential zones back up. Hope we get some large ones again. Ah, we didn't get any large ones. That's too bad. Larry, what's up? Ah, okay, it's talking about buying land. I don't think we need to buy land yet. We're doing fine. Let's uh, try to use up some more of the land we have now. Oh, we level up again. And we got some, some cash. Man, cash is definitely not an issue anymore. I don't really understand how it was the first game anymore, but uh, it's definitely a non-issue on this city, so that's sweet. And some commercial. So he was talking about upgrading. Um, well, I don't have to upgrade it yet. Let's wait until we get another fire and lose some stuff. 
Can we upgrade everything? What else can we upgrade? Upgrade City Hall. Maybe just the fire uh, station so far. Okay. What is there anything else we like haven't we've unlocked and I kind of wasn't paying attention to this? I don't think so. Uh, no. Okay, cool. Well, it feels like we have a pretty good start. Uh, yeah, the old U-shaped road going. I don't know if that's the most uh, efficient traffic-wise, but uh, haven't got any complaints yet. So. I guess we are almost running out of uh, room this way. Nice, we got a big one there. I'm just gonna keep building a bunch of uh, bunch of zoning and see how it goes. Oh, oh no! Wow. Uh, we need power. <laughs> Fire station burnt down. Stuff can go uh, badly really quickly in this. Wait, let's put it back here actually. Now that spot's freed up. That's not necessarily a bad thing though, because uh, we didn't lose anything important really except the fire station. And now we can kind of rebuild and hope we get some, uh, some bigger zoning. Actually, yeah, let's. Uh, how do I demolish? Let's demolish these two spots. Oh, and you do you do get money for destroying stuff. I don't think it's as much as you spend, but um, maybe that's the way we could have saved that first city. All right, let's put this four by four grid here and hope we get f four larges. All right, we got one larges and a bunch of mediums, so that's cool. All right, we got a police station finally. Let's upgrade the fire station. And we'll put in a police station over here. It's the popo. -po. Oh, what's that? Oh, Trira? No, Trira? Oh, Trira. Trira. Never heard that name before. Um,. Must be Otrera. Otrera. Okay, cool. So we got our, our level two fire department now. Let's just upgrade this right away because we definitely had issues with fires. And I don't know how much crime, I don't know if people can burn down buildings or what can happen with the crime, but. Did we lose anything on this side of the road? No, we didn't. Huh? Okay. I don't want to move this power plant somewhere else. Let's uh, let's put a power plant here, and then another one here. Then I'm going to delete the old one. So I want to get uh, I don't know if it's north, north and south. I don't know which way these are going, but I want to get some more roads going this way. And then uh, some more road this way as well. Because we need to get more... Uh, we need to get more industrial. So let's put, in, let's put in some more commercial here. Oh. Something's going down. It's a crime in progress. Okay. I didn't really see what happened there, but... Cool. Good job, police. And here we go. Okay, it looks like I can't uh, extend it around the corner here. 
It'd be nice if while you were in road building mode, you would kind of build in more than one direction. Like on if each, if on each end at least there was a a draggable arrow, but let's build this for now. And what else we need? I think we just need some more uh, some more residents. Oh, they're low in water. Let's back out there real quick and resources water. I wonder if we put this in behind, if that'll, uh... And we're gonna put two in right here, in the middle again. Then hopefully we don't have to worry about it for a little while. Again, we're flush with cash, so... Um... Oh, didn't mean to put those up there. I think I can just drag this, though. Oh, maybe not. Can I not drag this before? Yeah, we need to make sure we click where we want to start it. Oh, that didn't work either. We need to make sure we're where we want to build it before we build it. What's going on up here? Uh, water's still out. It looks darker up here. Is that, uh, do we not have power or something? No water, no water, no water. Okay, uh, I'm reading you loud and clear. They need water up here. All right, we'll put some more commercial up here, even though it's mostly. Uh... Actually, now let's put more. I think I feel like we need more residential right now. Let's get as much residential as we can get going. Um, yeah, and again, let's get some more residential down here. Let's continue this road all the way up. I'm hoping one of these will be a, uh, a large. Uh, we got a medium one there. I wonder if that's completely random or if there's a way, uh, there we go, there's a large one. Or maybe it's like every so often you get a large. Okay, no large is there. And let's check out our stats, we're gonna check that out. We have uh, very little recreation and our crime safety is pretty low as well. So uh, let's put in Another police station. And uh, we'll surround it by commercial. And we'll upgrade this one as well. Alright, so let's see those stats again. So yeah, recreation's our biggest issue. We need um and crime safety is a big issue as well, but I don't know, we've got two large police stations. You think that'd be enough for right now? Is there I wonder if there's like a graph or one sec view crime. Seems like there's pretty little crime, except for this area, but enough to actually, I guess, up there too. I wonder if that's because there's not like a quick road connected there from where the police station is. Um, but anyway, I'm sure that I'm sure that'll sort itself out. Curious to see how these mountains affect our ability to build. All right, let's just fill up this area. Uh, we leveled up. Level nine. Ooh, okay, we got a hospital. Gonna assume we want the hospital near the residential area, so. 
Let's uh, fill the hospital right here. Oh, it's pretty large. Takes for the uh, okay. So soon as, soon as they get to that crime pretty quickly, let's do. Uh, all right, let's buy these two pieces of land. Fifteen thousand, and then uh, complete your quest. And okay, the next one's twenty-five thousand. Let's buy that one too, though. And then we're gonna we're gonna connect these roads, and uh, maybe that'll help solve our crime issue a little bit. Hoping so, at least. Uh, let's just go ahead and buy this one too. this road as well we're still making money right so and it seems like we're making money really quickly so all right another level up okay we have the water pump station and the ferris wheel i think uh ferris wheel is gonna be pretty key because it's been one of the big complaints is no uh no recreation let's build a little road out here and we'll put a ferris wheel down here Oh, it's definitely under uh, special. Ooh, can't grab next. Right. Up next. All right, so we'll put that here. Okay, that's a different shape than I thought it would be. Cool. I wonder if we can slot one in somewhere else. Don't really have any room. Near other, uh, our other residential areas, so. I should try to throw up a big one beside it. No, no luck. Getting a little bit of slowdown, I feel like, all of a sudden. Is that just on the... Oh, okay, that's just, that's just on my mirror here. It's not on the actual phone. It seems fine. Okay. Uh, things are going well, I think. Have we upgraded? Okay, you can't upgrade the hospital. Uh, we we're full on money. We're full on money again. So let's uh, keep building. Oh no, the fires are uh, <laughs> the fire spread so quickly. Like they're really um, really harsh. Let's say. All right, let's get a new uh, fire station in there. I think this was all, um, we didn't lose, okay, we still have our, still two police stations, and we got our second fire station now. I think that was all, um, industrial in there, so let's, let's throw in some industrial. I noticed it seems like the price of things, zones go, are going up. I wonder if that just as your city levels up or as it gets bigger. Um, hard to say right now, but uh, big demand for industrial. That might still just be from the stuff that burned down. Let's throw in a bunch and then. Okay, what else we got going on here? Still, still saying more industrial. So let's keep building industrial until we, uh, until we've completely overdid it. Okay, so it looks like I can't build over that rock. Can I demolish the rock? No. Okay. So the rocks are permanent and uh, block you from building. It's good to know. And yeah, that looks fine. Oh, actually, maybe I should keep that gap there. Okay. Keep the uh, the two by four sections going here. Okay, let's say we're going in Joshua now. Let's um throw some more commercial up here now. So again, two by four. Okay. 
Okay. Demands back down again. Uh, I kind of feel like I should have put roads through here. And now it's kind of screwed up because those uh, power plants are in the way. Let's check out our, uh, this is a traffic thing, right? So what's the saying for our traffic? Right here is pretty bad. All these main streets. Basically all our roads are bad. Um, except these dead ends here, so. Maybe we didn't put enough roads. I don't know how badly that affects anything right now in the game, but uh, something to keep an eye on, I guess. Maybe it, maybe it probably uh, probably affects stuff like fire trucks and um, police cars. And how's our uh, how's our environment? All right, over here is good. And then I was expecting the industrial area is not as good. Why is it bad up here? What's uh? It's a lot commercial up here, isn't it? Oh, uh, maybe the water tower. Is the water tower producing? Oh, I've been industrial up here. Why did I put industrial there? Is that a mistake? <laughs> anyway, I guess it's there now. We'll just leave it for now. Um, let's put in some more roads here. Let's keep going this across. And uh, I'm going to sneak in some commercial behind this industrial. I feel like I probably meant to put commercial here where it's industrial, but uh, whatever. And we'll put some roads back up to there. Probably gonna need to put in some more. Oh yeah, there's some water. We need water there now, so uh, we'll put in some roads here, and then across. Oh, oh, that's not where we want it. Oh, do we have new styles of roads? Did we just get those? Yeah, highway, bridge. Cool. And we got some cash there. When did we unlock the highways and bridges and stuff? I missed out on that. Okay, build it there. I'll put a water pump up here in the corner. Even though that's probably not the most efficient place to put it. Can't build here. Does it have to be next to water? Do we have water anywhere? Where can we build it? Oh, there's water way down here and way up here. It must seem to be next to the water. That makes sense. Uh, I just uh, didn't even realize there was water on the map. Okay, so. Shoot. It's pretty far away. I guess we're gonna we're gonna stick with the water towers for now. We'll uh, we'll look into getting some other stuff in there soon. But uh, still another road up the middle here. Oh, cannot set property a null. I wonder. Uh, huh. I wonder if it's because we did we try to drag the road off the end of the map there. I'm not sure what happened there. We're building the road, we're dragging it up, and we caught the other thing. Anyway, maybe this is a good place to take a pause. We had a, it's, it's already like a 45 minute video. Um, I really like it so far. Uh, as far as I know, it's filling a, a, a gap of like a quality um, mobile city simulator. Uh, it seems to have uh, definitely all the basics in there, um, but even so, like some more com complex stuff going in as well. Uh, even stuff like traffic where we didn't really touch on, but even even having the maps with the crime map and the, um, what else was there? Can we see these right now? Yeah, the environment map, the power of the water, the zones. I didn't even use the maps that much, but um, I wonder if we save. I just want to see if we save and reload if we can get back in. Uh, if I click this, is it loaded?
Um, I'm still going to stop playing, but I just want to see if we can get back to where we are for future reference. Uh, if we go continue story. Okay, sweet. So we're, 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 we are where we left. And uh, no harm done. So just a little bug. It's to be expected, it's alpha. To be honest, I'm surprised we didn't run into more issues. Like, the fact that we played for 45 minutes or 40 minutes without having any issues, like, on the technical side at least, um, it was surprising. I, I, thought, um, I thought the game would be less polished and we'd be running into more bugs than we did. And uh, unless there's something we missed that... Uh, I don't know. Everything seems, seems really good so far. Like, I guess the one thing might have been that issue with the tutorial where we ran out of money, which I felt um, I felt was at no real fault to our to our own. Maybe just the way the tutorial was set up, it seemed we were almost doomed to fail. But um, maybe that's kind of on purpose to get you to start again, retry. But like, it felt a little bit off. So. Uh, that would be some feedback I have. Um, maybe having the fires grow a little slower would be nice. But uh, it is kind of cool in the sense that it lets you rebuild areas. But um, I, do, I do feel like fires in general don't spread as quickly as they seem to in the game. But then again, like I don't know. Is every second a day in the game? Hard to say. Um, I'd, I'd rather there be more frequent smaller f fires than uh, like a fire every five to ten minutes that seems to wipe out like 16 blocks of zoning. Um, and no, I don't know. Aside from that, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, if anyone else is playing or got in the beta, uh, maybe comment on the video, let me know how you're doing. Uh, I'm going to be checking out the subreddit. I kind of purposely didn't read anything on the subreddit about the game, about people's feedback before I did this video, just so I'd come in fresh with fresh eyes. Um, but yeah, no, uh, what actually, let's, let's just test out some other stuff too, like just like some non-gameplay stuff. Like, so when I continue this game, can I switch between cities? Like I have... Where was my city? Okay, there's a lot of auto saves in here. So the, the game saves automatically, it says. And then you can create 10 manual saves. Maybe I didn't create a manual save on that first. Uh, maybe this was specific to the city. So let's if we go back to Pocket City, let's just see how the load loading works. Okay. Cool. So yeah, this city was kind of doomed from the start. I don't know if I just went too slowly or... I didn't build zones fast enough, but we lost money very quickly. Um, and we're still losing money. So definitely something to look out there. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't end up using very many events. Did we unlock any new events? They seem... Um, like, they don't seem very necessary. Uh, let's jump back to the other city here. Pocket City was... Oh yeah, you can tell by the citizens. So if we jump back to this one. Cool. Um, we go to events. Okay, there's still just the block party and the tornado. Uh, let's do a tornado for fun. Uh, let's check it out. Oh man. Right, <laughs> that's... I was like, maybe it'll spawn at the corner of our map, but... Uh, just right in the, right, not in the middle of the city, but right in the corner of the city and just going straight through it. So, uh, it gave us lots of experience, I guess, but it's just crushing half our city. And here we go. It's, am I moving away a little bit? No. Our hospital's going down next? Yeah. Then our Ferris wheel. So, yeah, the tornado's well done and really destructive. It almost seems like it's like homing in on our buildings. Okay, now it's moving away. Alright, that was pretty destructive, I've got to admit. Um, let's turn this down a little bit. Uh, no, yeah. That was fun. Um, I'm looking forward to, like, 
I feel like there's not much like aside from that aside from that small bug, we didn't run into any issues, so it feels uh, ready. I think the guys. I know um, it's a one guy, one guy doing most of the work. I think I was reading on their website earlier. Um, yeah, it's called Code. They're they're calling it Code Brew Games is the developer, and uh, it's one man a developer out of Toronto, Canada, which is cool. Um, I'm also in Canada, so like. Uh, to be able to support other Canadians doing doing cool stuff and um, and it looks like it with and with the help of a friend who's an audio engineer so um, sounds like uh, the guy who I think his name might be Bobby uh, just cause Bobby or Robbie one sec I got a message here yeah Bobby um, yeah so looks like Bobby's done a really good job here and uh Really, you're outside. You get out of the siren. Uh, really looking forward to seeing uh, what else we see from him, um, and kind of where he goes next. Because yeah, so far it seems it seems like it's all there. Like a lot of times you hear alpha and you kind of expect not much, but this is almost more, what more more like a beta version. And unless like I don't know, who knows what he's got planned. Uh, it says target release date is February actually, so. It's next month, so it basically seems like it seems like it is basically a uh, a beta at this point. Um, it says it will release with a free and a paid version. The free version will have ads, um, and uh, the paid version is ad free and includes the sandbox mode. So, um, yeah, looks really cool. Uh, big props to Bobby and to uh, I guess Code Brew Games. And uh, yeah, man, I appreciate the uh, the alpha invite, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing some more. Uh, I've got a trip coming up soon, actually, so I've really been looking for some offline games to play. So I'm definitely gonna get in uh, a bunch of Pocket City over there, over uh, the next little while. So uh, really looking forward to it. All right, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope you're enjoying your weekend. And uh, I'll see you soon, maybe. All right. Have a good one.